small ago. town. A little gap. Okay, so. Um, So of the two, the, of the two components that lift that knuckle, which one would you say is more important? Which one is kind of the king? The rep lever or the jack? The king in what way? Like, more important or yeah, more important. strong? They're both. <laughs> the jack there is release. It has nothing to do with it. So when the rep lever still yeah. pulls. Right, which is why this action isn't working, because in this right. case... Because the, because the doesn't allow it to drop, because the rep lever is too high. Okay, so I would say, I mean, all of this stuff is, you know, regulation according to Brigham. <laughs> I'd say the jack is really the important one, because the jack, it doesn't matter how hard you hit it, there's no give on the jack until it hits the let off button, right? The jack is just solid, whereas the rep lever, it's got that spring. So if I were to get this out of the way, remove the jack, you, if, as long as you play softly, you can still play that note just using the rep lever. Come on. Well, that's why I was saying the rep lever was in charge because it's still controlling the Hammer, well, in, in this that dysfunctional that. regulation, yes. it's in charge, right, and that's what I'm saying is the problem. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, so the jack it, it has a firm base, whereas this just has a has a spring. I would say that, that really the rep lever is there as to assist the jack to make to to allow the jack to get back under more quickly. So when you're playing notes really really fast. It's that jack that's going in and out, in and out, back and forth. Every time you play a note, when you're, you know, when you're, you know, that's the jack every single time. And I'm hitting it hard. This spring would not be able to take that kind of pressure, right? So the jack is what's doing it. Every one of those times that I'm playing it, and if you've got like a machine out here, it could go even faster. Um, the rep lever is only there to ensure that that knuckle is high enough well two two things it ensures the knuckles high enough to uh to let the jack get back under every time it was the other thing that was that was kind of an epiphany for me a few years ago do you remember um i'll give it to you because that's super vague um <laughs> that that when playing fast that hammer doesn't actually drop but that the rep lever actually pushes, actually pushes the whipping down, yeah. right? Because, because um, the acceleration due to gravity is actually too slow. And so when you have gravity plus, uh, well, I don't know that gravity necessarily even plays a role. I'm not sure. I think it's, it's the spring. It's the spring is what pushes that whipping down. And it's using the weight of the, it's using the, the, the uh, hammer as a counterbalance to push that push this whole whip and assembly down so that jack can get back under so it's all about the jack the jack is everything and then this the rep lever is what assists that jack in doing its job okay okay so that's that's why i say that really the jack is the king so the reason you have to have plenty of drop is because what it's all about what what, what causes the jack to escape The, the let off button. Yeah, let off button. Okay, so if you're if you're at the beginning, remember this is about the beginning of regulation. That you need plenty of dip, dip, drop, and spring, spring strength. This is the beginning when when the regulation is terrible. Okay, so if you're regulating the let off button because let off button is related to the jack, right? Those two are partners. If you're if you if you don't have plenty of drop, you can't tell where let off occurs. You know, we see it there. Let off is occurring right there. But look, that hammer still continues to go up because the rep lever is. is you need not. to be able to feel it. Well, you can't feel it. That's the point. Right. You can't feel it. 
So, so you need to, so you need to see down. it. You need to see it. You see need to see it that and, hammer let off. Yeah. And the way to get that hammer to let off is it needs to. You need to have plenty of drop. So so now I'm way too low. Watch how much it's going to drop. Okay, so that's a lot of drop, right? It doesn't matter that it has plenty of drop, but that jack escape escaping super obvious, right? Now we know exactly where let off is occurring. So then once we've established where let off occurs based on you know our measurement of an eighth of an inch to the string, we establish that that's our benchmark. That's our our number one thing that we establish is where let off occurs. Then we can do our drop based on that. Our drop follows drop follows our let off. Okay? Because let off is king. The jack is king and the jack and let off button are partners. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And there's that second hammer is. Okay, is that pretty kind of clear for you? Sort of. Yeah, you, basically what it comes down to, the reason you have to have plenty, can anybody summarize it? Can you say it better than I do? So that it won't mute the, the string. Right. And so that it lets off. Yeah, so that, so that there's <laughs> let off, yeah. yeah. And let off is the first thing that you establish. And then you go around and around and you might change your let off later. Depends how far out. <laughs> Actually, no, you wouldn't change your let off later. Chain off, ch your let off doesn't Your let, your off, let off doesn't, doesn't change. That's right. Yeah, so you establish your let off and you. That's right. Okay. All right. Um, so I don't have I don't have lunch with my kids, but I already had lunch earlier with my kids. So if you want to keep going, I'll keep going. Or if you guys want to. What do you want to do?